Storm Team 29 forecast. You are looking live at an overcast central Virginia as viewed by our Carter Mountain weather camera. A bit of a hazy sunrise on that eastern horizon, but those clouds are going to win out and eventually produce some showers and thunderstorms. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Let's get you set up for today in the low 60s and dry for a few more hours in Charlottesville and central Virginia in the lower 60s in the mid 60s and low 70s at midday and from that by that time frame, late morning, midday showers and downpours are most likely. And then this evening, the bulk of the rain is pushing on out of the picture. And for the Shenandoah Valley, here's your first forecast. It's cloudy for now. Temperatures near 60. Then late morning, midday rain is likely. So we're kind of going to book in the dry weather pattern today. Dry to start and dry to finish. In between, you'll likely have some showers and downpours. So as we go into the next few hours, expect the weather pattern to really change. And here's where it's raining right now. Our live Doppler our network is showing the entire viewing area is completely dry for now, but back to the west approaching the Allegheny Highlands west into West Virginia into the Mid Ohio Valley from west to east. You'll notice that line of showers, downpours and embedded thunderstorms. It's weakening somewhat, so not expecting severe weather for the ID1 corridor, but it will likely redevelop later on today east of the Blue Ridge, and that's why I can't roll out a gust of wind as this cold front approaches us from west to east. You'll notice the clouds are increasing out ahead of the system and even outside of any rainfall, it will turn breezy and a bit more humid today, but not quite as hot as the past couple of afternoons. Looking at that severe weather risk, it's a low end risk for some damaging wind gusts, mostly across central Virginia, but the farther east you go more towards I-95, that's the corridor most favored to see a, a quick spin up tornado, even a better chance of some gusty wind. So, so for our area, it is a low end risk for some severe thunderstorms. Let's track it. Our high res weather tracker is showing 11 a.m. ID1 corridor, Shenandoah Valley. You're first up to get those downpours. And it, it, any, anywhere from, say, 9 to 11 a.m., basically. And then from 11 to midday, 1 p.m., Route 29 corridor, Route 15, 1, 2, 3 o'clock. And then on towards I-95 after 3 and 4 p.m. And by 8 to 9 p.m., the rain's long gone. It'll begin to clear on out and see a improvement in the weather into tomorrow. About a half inch of rain on average. We could use more. We are in moderate drought conditions across most of the area, so we can use a half inch of rainfall. It's better than nothing, but it does look like it will cool down and dry out going into Monday and Tuesday with below average temperatures for the last week of April with some more rain at the end of next week. Your forecast today, showers and storms developing highs in the 60s and lower 70s for tonight, clearing and cooling breezy lows in the upper 30s to the upper 40s, upper 30s for Harrisonburg, upper 40s for Charlottesville. High tomorrow partly sunny and brisk in the 60s a little bit below average for this time of the year remember your weather is always on the storm team 20 weather app get your latest forecast hour by hour outlook and the interactive doppler radar and our latest weather alert seven day forecast near 40 tomorrow night maybe some apache uh, frost for the valley monday morning in the 60s on monday and tuesday frost possible tuesday morning 70 wednesday 60s on thursday increasing clouds and we'll watch end of next week and next weekend for the possibility of some April showers in the month of April. So it's not looking great for next Friday's after five, but yesterday was really good. Yeah, the next Friday right now a chance of rain, but that's plenty of time to, between now and then. We'll see if that changes, but right now cooler than average with some rain. Absolutely, and we haven't gotten that many of the April showers, right? We are below average. We have moderate drought over most of the area, and thankfully today we will we'll get some beneficial rain, but uh, we could use more, but it does look like in the next week a better chance of rain once again. Definitely, and usually I don't like the rain, but much we much need needed. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so yeah. much.